When's the last time you lied? Here's the dirty truth. We are all liars. So I'm not trying to get into your business or anything, but I really wanna talk about lying because I think it's very important because a lot of times we just kind of sweep it under the rug. If you live in a community, if you are not just a species of one, then you have to sign this social contract that says that you will cooperate in the world. You'll get along with everybody else. And in order to do that, every once in a while, you have to drop a little white lie. In fact, the ability to lie and to do it well is a cognitive milestone for children. It means that they are really understanding the nuance of language. So, hey, it's great if your kid drops a lie, but not all the time. I mean, that's a bad strategy because little kids who are dropping little lies turn into bigger kids lying all the time, who turn into adults who are vomiting untruths. <laughs> Ugh. The Science Channel has this great documentary, it's called The Truth About Liars, and it says that one in four conversations that last for 10 minutes or more will contain a big old whopper in it. Maybe you're trying not to offend someone and so you don't necessarily tell the truth, or maybe you're just exaggerating and that fish that you caught just was so huge. Okay, my second question for you. Are you lousy at lying or are you awesome at it? Well, it turns out that there's one thing here that is going to determine if you're one or the other, and that is self-awareness. People who are really self-aware are called high self-monitors. That means that they walk into a room and they start to think, how am I being perceived? Or you could be a low self-monitor. You could walk into a room and sort of la-di-da all over the place and not even think how you're coming off. So you're probably thinking, which one am I and how can I figure this out? All you have to do is use your index finger and then trace an uppercase Q. Okay, my little tail on my Q ended up over my right eye. I'm just thinking about where the cue makes sense to me. But if you put the tail over on your left eyebrow, you are probably an ace liar. You are a high self monitor. You are anticipating that someone's gonna look at your forehead and try to read that cue. All right, we wanna hear from you guys. Uh, where did that tail on your cue land? And uh, when was the last time you lied, really? And was it worth it? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos.